Today I'm going to be making a little video on how to fix your rear strut mount on an E36. Basically you're going to need a helicoil kit. Seems pretty simple. I've actually never done it before, but I'm going to show you guys the process. Make it easier for you if you're nervous about it because I'm a little nervous about it. But it should be fine. Um, yeah, I was driving and my fucking strut just popped off. Not super fun, but let's dive into it. I'm going to find a kit. It's a little helicoil kit. Come with these little thread inserts and then a tap and a die. I actually had to buy the drill separately. For this one it is a 31 64ths and the bolt size is at M10 by 1.5. Basically we drill, tap it, throw these inserts in, we should be good to go. Alright, got my drill bit on there. Put some white lithium grease on here. I don't know if that's the right grease but it's good to grease your bits up so you don't get too hot. Just throw it in here. And we're going to want to be as straight as possible because we're going to be tapping this, so. Oh! Yeah. Alrighty. It seems like the drill bit has gone in far enough to where I can just go ahead and tap it. So we're going to try and do that. Just gonna go ahead and throw some WD-40 in here. Just throw in the die and a crescent wrench. Make sure it's straight. We've reached the end, I'm just gonna go ahead and back it up. Looks like it worked pretty well. Let me get a close up on that. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our actual helicoil insert piece. We're gonna go ahead and put the side with this little outside thing on the inside. And then we've got a special little tool to help us put this in. So the kit I got came with this cool little tool. Basically You'll put the insert all the way on here, and then it'll actually catch on that inner side, so you can go ahead and thread it in nice and easy. Right, here goes nothing. And apparently once you get it all the way in, you want to make sure it's flush, and then you go another half turn. We're going to pull this sucker out. There we go. I'll get a little close up. Just so we can check to make sure our bolt actually goes in here. Oh yeah. Not even gonna pretend like I know how that shit works, cause it seems a little magical to me. But I'm glad that it does, or else I'd be a little. So now the last thing is we're just supposed to break that little piece that we used to screw it in um, on the end there. Um, I watched a video before and they had a special tool. I guess it doesn't come with that anymore. I'm just going to use a flathead and a hammer and hope that it breaks. If not, I'm assuming the bolt itself would just break it if I just tightened it enough. It worked. I guess it's just permanently stuck in there now. <laughs> Now we can try and put the actual strut on. Okay, my camera literally just stopped working because it's so hot in Arizona. But uh, hopefully you guys didn't miss that last clip. It was just me screwing the strut on. I'll go ahead and show you guys. She's all the way on there. Nice and snug. Just like that, we're back on the road. Now I can go ahead and do some test hits with this bad boy. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.